Lisbon, April 2015, saw the launch of the first Monocle conference that unpacked the enduring theme that has preoccupied the magazine since launch, quality of life. Over three days, we brought together 25 expert speakers and 160 delegates to discuss the lay of the land in industries from the media to urban planning and the future of everything from our home to our high street and how to improve them. After a Friday mixer of meetings and greetings in the stately Ambassada, a former Moorish mansion turned emporium, the modernist Four Season Ritz in Lisbon proved a fittingly charming venue for Saturday's conference. Hot on the heels of a brisk morning jog and breakfast on the terrace, delegates eagerly settled, pens poised and sat snugly on Portuguese-made chairs from Lona for a day that promised debate, analysis and inspiration, all of which was broadcast live and around the world throughout the day on Monocle 24 Radio. The first of the seven discussions saw Monocle's Tyler Brulé and Robert Bound tune into the world of media. The morning session continued apace with talk of perfect homes from designer Ilsa Crawford and Brazilian architectural legend Ize Weinfeld. Rob Bound and Andrew Tuck then took to the stage to discuss the role of the museum with the v and director Martin Roth and Rijksmuseum's Taco Dibitz. Not forgetting a few toe-tapping interludes from musical maestro Luisa Sobral besides. Next, we touched on provenance with Caterina Portash, a former journalist bringing Portugal's traditional crafts to market in her elegant shop Avida Portuguesa, and David Hyatt, a visionary entrepreneur reviving his native town in Wales with well-made jeans, films on which are set to follow on monocle.com. After an open-air lunch with a menu designed by panelist and food campaigner Kamal Muzawak, we heard from award-winning designer Sam Hecht and Vitra director Mirko Kuhlberg about the future of the office, all before the mayors of Oslo and Porto, among others, took to the stage for one of the day's liveliest talks on the future of the city. Notebooks brimming with ideas, hand shaken and business cards swapped, the delegates, speakers and monocle staffers turned tail for a riverside dinner, drinks and dancing to toast a successful second day. Finally, after a sunny Sunday breakfast at José Avales's renowned Café Lisboa, there was time for a subscribers event and a few final purchases, fond farewells and reflections on the Portuguese capital itself, which proved a perfect host for an event that discussed all a city can do to offer an enviable quality of life.